Hi everyone, myself Kishan Bharadwaj from Computer Science Department, SVC Bangalore. Welcome back to our channel. We'll be diving into a fascinating topic in computer programming called point aliasing. Now, point aliasing may sound a bit complex, but don't worry. We are here to break it down for you. So let's jump right in. So before getting into point aliasing concept in detail, let's discuss the basic definition of it. A situation it's oh, a situation where the same memory location can be accessed using different pointer names is called point aliasing. So before understanding the point aliasing concept in detail, let's see the de basic definition of pointer. Pointer is a variable that stores the address of another variable. It is actually a pointer is actually a variable which stores the ad another address of another variable. It's like it is not the uh, it is not the value which has been stored in the pointer. It's actually the address which has been saved or stored in the pointer of the other variable. So the, what are the advantages of pointer? It actually direct it provides a direct access to the memory and provides a way to return more than more than one value to the variable creates an alternate way to access array elements and reduces the execution length of the program it actually reduces the execution length of the program so uh, coming on to what are the topics we are going to uh, learn from this video so the first one is embedded system the second one is aliasing and the third one is pointer declaration and initialization fourth one coming on to conclusion so embedded system an embedded system is a combination of computer hardware and software designed for a specific function so the second one point aliasing let's know more detail detail about point aliasing and definition with example so in third topic we are going to cover what is pointer declaration and what are the differences between declaration and initialization so coming on to conclusion let's conclude these topics all together and come to a basic understanding on point aliasing. Let's get started. What is embedded system? So actually embedded system is that us has a software embedded into a computer software hardware. Embedded system is usually a software which has been embedded into a computer hardware. So the then the second point says that embedded systems can be small or in small independent systems or large combinational systems it is a microcontroller based control system used to perform a specific task of operation so the examples of embedded systems are manufacturing equipment domestic appliances audio audio visual experience ex equipments gaming consoles telecommunication equipments medicinal devices medical devices and car cars and vehicles so the next one let's understand the point aliasing in detail so let let's look up an example to understand the concept much better imagine we have two pointers p1 and p2 both pointing to the same memory location let's say an integer variable called x if we modify the value of x using one pointer the change will be reflected when accessing it through the another pointers as well the slight changes in the point variable x may change the values of the pointer p1 and p2 this is because both are pointing the same memory address or in other words they are aliased to each other so this is a concept of, of point aliasing. So coming on to pointer declaration and initialization. Asterisk indicates the variable. A variable is a pointer. Int asterisk my PTR declares a pointer to an integer or int. 
this is a pointer of type int asterisk multiple pointers require multiple asterisks in simple words stars so int my ptr1 comma asterisk my ptr2 in these two things so my ptr1 is a variable and the address of it is being stored at the my ptr2 because my ptr2 is given with asterisk so it stores the value of address ptr one's address so can declare pointers to any data types float weight characters asterisk string etc so there is no limitation for this uh, pointer declaration so we can declare to all all types of data data types so initialization initialized to zero null or address so zero or null points to nothing will nothing and will cause an error if you try to dereference the pointer if you don't initialize it to null you will get some random pieces of memory and your program will only work sometimes so this is very hard to debug because symptoms will vary from runtime to runtime so it's like if you initialize a value to null then you will get some random pieces of memory which have been in the program you will work sometime for sometimes it it's very hard to debug it and then the symptoms are very it's like it it varies the output is been varying from one run and runtime environment to another runtime so this is the basic concept of initialization and pointer declaration so next coming on to advantages of point analyzing code is more predictable and easier to understand because um, the, because due to um, adding of pointer 1 and pointer 2 to the same memory location and then it is to give assigning it to the other value called x and then uh, if we change the value of x the values of p1 and p2 are been also changed so code uh, is much much more predictable and easier to understand program runs faster because the compiler can optimize the code better it can optimize code better in such a way that um, in such a way that the um, in if we don't use pointer analyzing concept we will assign a variable each and every variable for a program but in pointer analyzing since we give uh, the pointers the same uh, memory location so it becomes um easier to the compiler for execution so it 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 increases the speed or fast fast execution is possible so they can improve the performance of a program by enabling the compiler to optimize code more efficiently actually it improves the performance of a compiler by enabling the optimized code more efficiently effectively sorry point analyzing helps in reduce helps in reducing the memory footprints of a program how actually when we do when we use the concept point analyzing um as we have seen in initialization the memory footprint is high if we declare it to null so that concept that thing is been avoided in point analyzing it so here by helps to um, reduce the memory footprint of a program disadvantages of pointer analyzing so even uh, there is a disadvantage of pointer analyzing too pointer analyzing can increase the complexity of the program especially when dealing with a shared data structures actually uh, when we are using pointer analyzing the due to the increase in complexity of the program is been a uh, hectic when it is been shared with the huge number of data structures so the second point says that analyzing programs with pointer analyzing can be more challenging pointer analyzing can lead to memory safety problems too it's like when you deal with pointer analyzing there is it's more 
difficult to analyze a program since it has been connected or interconnected since the pointers are been interconnected from one point to another and then it is given the same memory location it becomes difficult for a programmer to analyze the program and the safety issues have been faced during the compilation of the program or during the phase of the program uninitialized pointers might cause segmentation faults so if, if the pointer is not initialized it causes segmentation faults too so these are the advantage disadvantages of pointer aliasing so coming on to conclusion while pointer aliasing can provide advantages like memory efficiency and data sharing it also introduces challenges related to code reliability performance safety and correctness it is essential to understand the implications of aliasing and use appropriate techniques to manage it effect effectively in order to strike a balance between benefits and drawbacks we have to we have to use it wisely so point aliasing is a powerful concept in programming that allows multiple pointers to access the same memory location so it can provide flexibility and efficiency when used correctly so however it's important to be aware of potential problems it can int introduce such as unintended unintended side effects and bugs by following the best practices and utilizing available tools we can minimize these issues and write a safer and more reliable code and this brings us and let's let's have a quick re recap about what uh, what all we have learned in this video we have learned what is embedded systems and we have learned what is pointer aliasing we have learned the differences between uh, pointer declaration and initialization so we have learned the advantages and disadvantages of pointer aliasing and this brings us to a uh, to the end of this video on pointer aliasing we hope you find in you found it informative and helpful if you have any questions or uh, want us to cover more top more programming topics please leave a, let us know in the comments below don't forget to like this like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content thank for more exciting content thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one thank you so much